Yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Joe for show and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you my ultimate frame of build that I use in the new 400% dungeons and a boss build that I use to beat gluttony multiple times and the new Deathstalker boss as well. Now for anyone wondering what's the difference between regular Freyna and ultimate Freyna besides ultimate Freyna having two exclusive red mods, it's really just ultimate Freyna has a little bit more max shields and a little bit HP. Everything else is, is identical as you can see on your screen. Now, as you've seen in the intro of this video, the two abilities that I was mainly using was the Venom Trauma and the Putrid Venom. These are the two abilities that we will be using to clear out rooms and spread our poison throughout that whole room. And when we get to the boss room, we will be using the Venom Baptism to destroy the bosses. Now, enough of the yapping. Let's get straight into the mods and everything you guys want to see. Now, the first couple mods that I'm going to show are the mods that I use to increase my Toxic Puddles damage. And the first one is going to be Focus on Tech. One of the new mods, Toxic Amplification and Power Increase. Now, if you're curious about why I'm using this new mod, even though you see it has its negative 140 crit hit damage, we are not running a skill crit hit build. So this is why we're taking advantage of this mod. And I also use this mod a power increase. Now, if you're wondering why I don't use another focus on toxic, the main reason why is when you have too much increase of one stat, you get diminishing in returns. I'll show you a demonstration of that right now. Now here's a demonstration I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna run two toxic mods. And as you see right here, I have 146 toxic skill power. And when we come over here to this enemy and use our first ability, we're going to hit for 194. Now with only one toxic mod, but we have a skill power boost, we're going to have an extra section of just skill powered 65% and toxic skill power 65.4. And when we have that, when we come over here, we're going to hit for 232. We're doing much more damage with one toxic mod and one just raw skill power damage now i want to give credit to this power increase mod to moxie i will have his youtube uh channel down in the description he's the one that showed me about this power increase and the diminishing return and stuff i'm just included in my video so if anybody is wondering why i use power increase as well now for the other mod that i use in my build we're going to be using one nimble fingers for cooldown Two range mods so we can spread the toxic all over the room and clear the enemies out much more quicker. And one HP mod, one defense mod with a little bit of skill power so we can do more damage. An HP collector so we can always get our health back when we clear out these rooms. And another cooldown mod. Now with all these mods equipped, I'm able to have my Venom Trauma, my Toxic Puddle, have a cooldown 2.7. My third ability, Putrid Venom, have a cooldown 6.2. And our fourth ability to have a 27 seconds cooldown, which will allow me to spam it multiple times in the boss room. Now, if you're wondering why I have no mod slots, why I don't run any red mods, the main reason why is I feel they have no beneficial for me, for my preference, for my play style. And I'll, sh I'll explain more into it right now. So for your first ability, if you notice at the bottom, you have a debuff called panic well if when you equip contagion that panic debuff disappears i don't want that i already i feel like my poison spreads enough when I mean, whenever you kill an enemy as you see in the beginning of the video so i see contagion has no benefit for my playstyle. now if you like it go ahead and use it personally i don't want to now, another mod that's really good that I see people run is a Venom Synthesis. The main reason why I don't use this one, I lose my third ability puddle. Instead, I have these small puddles that come from my footprints. But this does give you movement speed and it does allow you to keep up with the bunnies and stuff. So again, it's up to you. You use either a this, this mod, Contagion or Venom if you want. Me personally, I don't. It's just not my play style but you don't need to copy exactly what I do. Do what's best for your playstyle, what feels comfortable for you. Also, I have a friendly budget build for people who don't have the materials to catalyze every slot or the time to do it. As long as you have one energy activator and obviously a sub module, you'll be able to get to 80 capacity. You will have enough room to fit all these mod slots. You can have your two different damage mods and, and small cooldown. 
you can have another cooldown mod a defense mod one hp mod and your two range mods and this is the basic that you just need for your ultimate freina and without having to put any catalyst into her you just have to level up to level 40 by yourself she will be an insane build now i do recommend to catalyst try to put at least two more catalysts into her either right here to hp and conversion so you can add a toxic amplification or a tech amplification to give yourself more damage or another cool uh the nimble fingers for more cooldown it's really up to you though but here's a nice friendly budget build that i hope you guys enjoy now when it comes to my reactor my components i am using a ultimate reactor that has a secret garden mounting and the two bottom stats i feel like the skill cooldown is mandatory but the second one it's up to you you can go for skill effect rain skill cost or skill duration or even tech skill power boost to give yourself a little your damage over time a little bit more damage it's really up to you this is the one i got and so i'm gonna stick with it for my uh components i am running two annihilation set just so my fourth ability can last longer and i am running two venom set just to have a little bit more toxic skill power and the weapons i use is the secret garden because of its unique ability the pest control and stuff these two weapons are not needed but i just run them just to have a little bit more extra damage but they're really not needed at all if you are in need of a freina reactor luckily this week there is a really good easy farm if you come over here and type in your toxic and tech you'll see over here at the mirage stone over here at the outpost is the best spot to farm for the reactor i'll show you some quick little gameplay of what i did to get my reactor right now now after you start the outpost all you gotta do with ultimate valby is literally run around in circles like this using your three abilities once the enemy starts spawning they will start dropping reactors like crazy for you and hopefully you get lucky and get the reactor you need now for the boss build the main focus is venom ejection you're already probably seen multiple uh, videos of people using this build on youtube already i'm just going to show you the little twist that i did where you could use this in group play for gluttony or for death stalker now do i recommend using this build for that no i think an ajax or enzo is better for those two hard bosses but if you don't have one well ultimate freina could still do the job and do great damage and survive in these builds with a twist that i did compared to other people videos now in most people boss build you're going to be seeing them run four damage mods either a focus on toxic focus on tech a toxic amplification and a tech amplification i'm only running three the difference between having three is four is without having this mod on you're doing sixty thousand less damage a shot for your fourth ability i feel like that's perfectly fine to give up because instead we're going to be running bio sync shield what this does is the health orbs that's going to be on the floor instead of it being health it's going to give us shield this is how we're going to replenish our shield back like enzo and be able to stay alive at this end of this video the last 10 minutes i'm going to have two full gameplay of me using this build in gluttony and death stalker so you can see how good this build is for doing damage and surviving against the hard bosses now let me talk about the mods that i will be using for the boss build we are going to be using focus on toxic and focus on tech i'm using these mods instead of the blue toxic specialist and tech specialist is because i want that cooldown with this other cooldown mod and the main reason why is we could get this to 56 seconds which is perfect timing for gluttony after we stun him we have to cool him down do his mechanic i'll get my fourth ability back the other mods I use is Toxic Amplification, so I can have a little bit more Toxic Skill Power. I would like to use the Power Increase, but because it's a battle mod, we already have this battle mod here, I can't. So I am forced to use this Toxic Amplification compared to my farming 400% dungeon build. Again, the Bio Sync, so we get our, health, our, sh our shield back with the Health Orbs, the Overwhelming Shield, so we can have 1 HP and a lot of shields. The increased shield so we can have more the increased hp so we can get more shield because the overwhelming hp a blue defense mod so we can have more defense for shield because it does stack and then a dangerous ambush so when the colossus boss is stunned we'll do even more damage 
now when it comes to the reactor and the components i use i am running four slayer set so we can have more skill power and do a lot more damage with our fourth ability we are running a secret garden mounting and the most important stat is the additional skill attack when attacking colossus you will need it to be able to do almost max damage on any boss and if it's not gold you're probably not going to be able to one clip executioner devour dead bride or pyro but so try your best to try to get a gold one as i showed you guys earlier in the early in the video you go to outpost and farm you do not need ultimate valby for that build you could do it with a regular valby as well now when it comes to your weapons your secret garden you don't need to have it fully catalyst like i do the only mods that you really need are these four the two fire rates will stack with your fourth ability and then the increased mag size so you can have almost 90 bullets into your fourth ability you probably don't need the magazine rolled on the gun because if as you seen in the video i do always have few bu few bullets left over that don't get used now you can run a duration mod somewhere on here but again i feel like it's not needed because i don't want to be that squishy i'm not trying to be glass cannon and when i'm not using my fourth ability for damage we are using during during legacy for damage this is our main damage weapon right here as you can see piercing light is just here for show i don't really use it for bossing unless i'm on my Haley build now if you're wondering if there is a budget build for this boss build there is but it's mainly for solo it's not for group play this will only work on the first four colossus hard mode bosses it will not work for gluttony or death stalker so please don't try it but this is it right here again these four slots are the one that's going to be pre-catalyst already when you first unlock ultimate frena and all you gotta do is add in dangerous ambush overwhelming shield increased hp tech amplification tech specialist toxic so you know you'll have your tech talk specialist you have your four damage mods your hp to get a little bit more shield and then your extra damage when the boss is done and all of it adds up to 80. again i don't really recommend using this though because as you see you only have 9k defense 3000 shield you're going to be really squishy against those other bosses so don't really use this unless you're going to use it for solo now for the rest of this video i'm going to show two gameplay of me using the boss build against gluttony and death stalker both of the times it was regular pubs match i'm not teamed up with anybody i am a solo player as well so this is a full experience of just playing with randoms and this build does work for that but if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like subscribe or comment down below if you have any question or anything for me on that note hope everybody has a great day and night enjoy the gameplay